Hi, I'm here with Liz Cavanaugh, who is the author of two wonderful books that T. Ferry read today. One is Rex's Bad Day, and he was having a bad day until he started thinking more positively. Can you tell us a little bit about that, Liz? Yeah, Rex didn't like to try new things, and he needed to learn that it's all about how he thought, that uh, your thoughts are a big thing. You have to try new things, or else your days could be bad, and it's really not that bad. We make things worse than they seem to be sometimes, so Rex has a better day once Betty Bird tells him to change the way he's thinking and try new things. That's true. And you know what? Sometimes things don't quite work out the way you want them to. But if you keep working at it, it gets easier. Absolutely. Kind of like this interview today has been kind of challenging, but we're getting there. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, your other book is The Strong Tree. Yes. This and book. Today, you're going to help us be, like learn to become a tree? We're going to, yes, we're going to do a, a short guided meditation and we are going to create our own strong tree in our minds. That sounds so fun. Absolutely. How do we start? Well, we start by, we take a minute and find a quiet place. Okay. And we close our eyes. And we can just imagine that we're standing in a grassy field. And in this field, we can see a little tree start to come out of the ground. And the roots are starting. And as, now this is your tree. So your tree can be small, it can be short, it can be tall. This is your tree, you make it how you want, in your mind. So in your mind, the roots are going deeper in the ground, and as they're going deeper, your tree's getting bigger. So you can imagine your tree is coming out of the ground, coming out of the ground, and you have to make it so is it short? Is it tall? Is it thin? Is it big? And then once your trunk is there, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put branches on our tree. So we can put a bunch of branches and make it a really big tree or we can put just a couple little branches and make it a small tree it's your tree so you make it just how you would like so the next thing we do in our mind is we're going to put some leaves on this tree and on this tree you can have all kind of leaves you can have them blue purple pink bright yellow polka dots Anything you want, it's your tree. So, or maybe if you don't even want any leaves at all, you don't have to do that. You can put flowers in your tree. You can make your tree any way you want. So the next thing that we do is we are going to find, is there animals in like your tree? Maybe you have a squirrel that likes to run and jump through the branches of your tree. Or maybe you have Rex the raccoon. Who wants to climb up in your tree and maybe take a nap? Or maybe Betty Bird has put her nest in your tree because she wants her babies to be protected and maybe your tree has all kinds of leaves on it. Whatever your tree is, make sure it's nice and big and your roots are really deep. So if a storm comes through that your tree cannot get knocked over, your tree is gonna stand strong through that storm. So whenever you're all done creating your tree and you have your animals and you're calm, you can go ahead and open your eyes. And that would be a meditation. Sometimes we go through hard times and we, we get upset or we get nervous or things like that. And that's why you may want to take a couple minutes and have a time out and take the time to get out of your mind and create a tree. Make your own tree in your mind. And then when you're all done, you're going to be so nice and calm that you're going to forget what you were even mad about or upset about or anxious about before. 
And that's why we do meditation because it helps us clear our mind. My mom used to tell me to count to 10 and take deep breaths. That's right. That's right. And you calm your mind that way. I really like this. This was a lot of fun. I'm going to use this. Yes, you can create trees. I like the animals. I like to put all kinds of animals in my tree. I really love the colors and the pictures in this book, too. So I'm going to really use that in my meditation because I really liked it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing this meditation and your wonderful stories with us. And oh, so I, will very say welcome. Hi, I will say hi to Tea Fairy for you. Thank I'm sorry you. She couldn't make it today. She's been very but it busy. Was, it was fun talking to you. Well, it's super fun having you on, and I hope that we'll be able to share more of your books and activities, maybe more meditations with you in the future. Absolutely. Sounds great. Great. Yes. Thank you, Liz. Thank you. Have a Bye. good day. You too. Bye-bye.